Hi, I'm Trisha and I'm founder of Look Fabulous Forever, which is makeup, skincare and hair care, all formulated to help older women to look fabulous. Today I want to create a really quick, well, 10 minutes anyway, um, easy look for you to create at home using 10 of my favourite products. So uh, I need to uh, set my timer in a minute. Here it is. And uh, I've already prepped my skin using skincare and I've just quickly applied our three brilliant primers with eye primer, the lip primer and the face primer. And I'm going to start by applying our foundation, continuous cover foundation. And I'm going to use um, number two, which really suits my skin. So here we go. So let's get this going. There we go. And I'll get the foundation ready. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to apply it with a foundation brush. And this is going to cover, really give me a good coverage over any sort of blemishes that I've got. Uh, it's got enough coverage in it to, uh, so that things like, um, I don't know, fine veins and so on and so forth. And if you've got any red patches, this very quickly and thoroughly and very easily uh, c covers that. It's formulated to look light and fresh because nobody wants to look as though they're wearing a mask if they've got a foundation on. But at the same time, it is the basis for all of the makeup that you're going to apply. So actually, you do need to make sure that uh, it's covering enough for you. It's got enough coverage for you, depending on the state of your skin. But ours is designed to give you a really, as I said, to, to give you that coverage, but at the same time to still look light and fresh. So take a little bit of time over your foundation. I think of the 10 minutes, this needs to take the longest time really, because if you've got your foundation right and it's blended properly, then everything else will look better as a result. In fact, I'm gonna take one of our big fat brushes now and just do a final polish of that into my skin, making sure that I'm going down over my jawline so you've not got any nasty lines at the edges of your face. So I think that will be pretty good in terms of uh, how it looks. And that did take about two minutes to do. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to put a little bit of blusher on. I'm using a cool toned blusher, which is rosy glow. And uh, because the whole of the, the look that I'm going to create today is for cool toned skins. So again, I'm going to use a, a brush and I'm just going to build that color up onto my cheeks like this. And the effect of blusher, of course, is to immediately brighten and I think bring your face to life. When we're older, we lose a lot of colour. Our faces can be quite pallid. And uh, what is brilliant about blusher is that it's this restorative effect in terms of giving your face that lovely glow, um, which I think we all need to look healthy. So there's the blusher. How am I doing for time? Let me just check my my timer. Okay, not too bad. I really hate doing things against the clock in terms of makeup. I think I should uh, take as long as I like and as long as I enjoy because for me this is a zen process. It's not a thing to do speedily. Um, however, I'm going to do my best and uh, see if I can I can get this done in the time. So the next thing I'm going to do is put on my trusty brow shape. I've already groomed my brows and I'm using the grey one and what I do with this is to create light feathery strokes. Let me bring this around so that you can actually see what I'm doing. I need the mirror in order to be able to apply this but the whole idea of the brow shape is that it's designed to just make your brows look more noticeable but in a good way so that they look, as I said, they look groomed and you've added a bit of color and definition. Um, I'm using the gray one today. I've got pretty gray hair now and my brows are not 
too bad. I mean, you know, they have sparse bits, but this really does help to um, to make them look a better shape and just generally to, to look quite flattering. So that's that. Next thing I'm going to do is to apply my Trios palette. So the first colour on is going to, going to be the pale one, which is the lilac. I'm wearing a sort of purpley top today, so the lilac is the most the lightest coloured. I'm just sweeping that over the, the lids. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the The middle colour which is the uh, pewter and I'm going to do that into the socket line this this just gives a nice shaping to my eyes it's not particularly dramatic but it's enough to shape my eyes and make them look I think better okay and now I'm going, just going to use the, uh, the final colour, the aubergine. And I'm going to push that down into my lower part of the eyelid where my lashes are. And the, the idea of this is to, again, it's to make my lashes look thicker and to increase the, the definition to my eyes. So that to the other eye just stroking that along the lash line like that so I think that's a pretty look for my eyes and what I'm going to do now is to apply some mascara I think there are some key moments when you're applying makeup. One is when you've got your foundation on. I think that, that just gives you your blank canvas, really. The second is when you've got your blusher on. That's a, just a lightener or a brightener, and it, it just cheers your whole face up. I quite like the moment that I put my brows on, as well, uh, the brow shape on as well, because basically the brow shape just really does beautifully uh, start to shape the, the whole eye area. My final happy moment is when I put on my lipstick, which I'm going to do very shortly. So that's on with my mascara. I'm going to very quickly just tidy up the bottom bit of that because I've got some speckles there. And now what I'm going to do, let me just see what I'm going to do for time. Okay, um, so I've done my brows, I've done my, um, my three eyeshadows and my mascara. And the final thing I'm going to do is to put on some lovely lipstick. Um, and I'm going to start with our plumbery li uh, lip liner. I'm doing a cool toned lipstick. Again, it's to go with what I'm wearing. So that's the lip liner. I have already put lip primer on, but the lip liner will, again, it will uh, do that wonderful job of actually holding my lipstick in place um, more effectively. So just checking in the mirror again, making sure that my makeup generally looks okay. Nice and smooth. I've got a magnifying mirror here and um, I would always recommend that you use a magnifying mirror in order to um, really really perfect your makeup. Um, 
eyesight is not always as good as it could be when you're older and, uh, and therefore you need to be uh, extra specially careful by just double checking into a magnifying mirror. I've nearly finished um, my final touch in terms of my uh, overall look is to put some lovely earrings on. I always wear earrings because I enjoy the way that they add a bit of glamour and a bit of colour and a bit of interest to whatever it is that I'm wearing. Um, so I think we more or less have it. So what have I done? I put on some foundation. I put on some lovely cool tone blusher, Rosy Glow. I did my eyebrows. I put on three colours onto my eyes. I put on the, um, what did I do? Uh, soft light. What's it? This is the, these are the colours I was using. There we go, the 10 minutes is up. So I was using the, um, the Soft Purples uh, Trios palette, mascara, and then I put on my lip liner and my lipstick. So I do hope you enjoyed that, you found it useful. As I said, comments, questions, please put them in the um, b below the video. We do keep an eye on those and we will answer you. Um, so thank you for watching. Bye bye.